everyone, so I just came back from work and it's Friday evening and we're starting to pack up our flat, our lives. Um, we have boxes that we've saved from our old boxes and that's where we're gonna start because the boxes we ordered didn't yet arrive. So we're giving them time until tomorrow and if not, we just have to reorder for the next day delivery. But we're starting from books. Do you want to sort these books somehow in the boxes? Or? No, they just can go however you want them to go. Exciting! A throwback experience. I keep all of the magazines that I was ever in. No, I won't find it. But I have a page in here. Oh, and it's funny, in the same magazine that I'm in, my very close friend, Ika! And then there's my feature. Ooh, and then this is the first one that I had. I mean, it's just like a shop magazine, but I remember the photos and I don't look like myself. I mean, I just had so much makeup on. Oh my God, baby me, free moving to London with a British flag. Look at me, I don't look like myself. And this is my first ever published editorial, which we shot in our bedroom in our old flat and I actually had no idea I would have it printed because I just organized it. I was like, I want to do some fun things and hey, it got printed. Good morning, everyone. I mean, not good morning for you. Good morning for me. Um, I woke up and I'm just a bit bored because I don't want to work. <laughs> and whenever I'm bored, I just tend to go and do my work stuff, even though it's the weekend and I shouldn't. Anyways, I got myself a box and decided to start packing up the bathroom um there's just a lot of stuff that we don't need for another week and it's just like extras and um all that stuff so that's what i want to do especially here underneath i just have a huge box of stuff like this shower gel which we didn't use because we had like another one from original source and it was just like i think it was like minty or something and it was just terrible especially in the private areas it was burning um so we decided not to use it but it seems like we won't need it so that's the kind of stuff i just want to pack up i have a lot of i need to get rid of this i have a lot of like spray tan i mean why would i need spray tan i haven't used spray tan since i was like 16 <laughs> so why do i even need it some time ago i already um got rid of a lot of like hair color and all that stuff but i think there's still more that i can just get rid of so i'm gonna do it today we're trying to pack up my very big hat collection hello so I didn't vlog over the weekend because we were supposed to be packing and we ordered boxes which did not arrive so we had to order them again and well now we have boxes which means I'm back to packing and yeah I've, I've just done all my work for today which means a glass of wine and I think I will start with tackling this um, shop there so it's mainly books, vinyls um, yeah, just that kind of stuff. We packed a bit of the kitchen, so like jars, things we're not gonna use, but we're leaving the kitchen kind of as the last bit because we obviously need to cook and eat. So that's the kind of obvious stuff. But otherwise, I think we're just gonna slowly start packing everything up because it's Monday and we're moving on Saturday. Exciting. I just picked up this book and this is from my tarot face and I used to use it when Kuba was having a bad moment I used to take out the tarot cards and use this book to tell him what to do with his life But we no longer do it, but it was fun I'm not a huge believer, but I think it's just a fun thing to do over wine in case anyone's wondering why we are moving out of shortage This is why this was literally us when we lived here, which is quite fun But it's gonna be a nice memory to have that book um literally shortage it's it's a very specific experience to live here but cool since we were at books this is my other passion which is psychedelics i don't know i love reading about psychedelics and all the mind stuff and everything so this is one of the books i read cool stuff i feel if you're really interested in like all the weird stuff in life then psychedelics are definitely a thing to 
research. Not that I'm saying to take psychedelics, but I think it's just interesting to have a read and understand that a lot of the drugs have other purposes rather than fun. So today we are tackling this big piece of furniture. Um, I think once this is down it will kind of look a bit more like we're moving because at this point you just can't really tell. It just looks like a big mess. Um, but we're getting there. Woo! Be careful. It's almost down. Finally. So much space. So much awkward space. No, there's actually there's a lot of space now in this house. <laughs> More than Stop I used to be. complaining. I know you could live off one plate. A fork, fork a knife, knife spoon, spoon and, and a computer and a desk and that would be it. I don't think you would even need a bed if you were alone. I think we're making pretty good progress. It actually looks like we're leaving now, which is great. Yes, Kuba? He's, he's so upset about the fact that we need to pack up. So sorry, but you're gonna have a garden and your own room. You'll not have to see me anymore. Hello, so we didn't vlog for a bit just because we got on with the packing and it wasn't all that interesting. And today we're almost done. There are boxes everywhere. The kitchen is almost empty. We're doing a good job. Um, and that's it. It's the last day. The last day in shortage. Leave that camera in pack, woman. <laughs> also, when I moved to London, I bought six of these, I think, or eight. And after five years, this is the only one that is still here with us. Um, as you can imagine, a lot of stuff happened in, in those five years. So this is the current status. So everything's basically packed up. And now what we're doing, we're just taking apart the bed because tomorrow the movers are coming at 9.30. So we thought it's best to do it today. Um, sleep on the mattress, which is here, and just kind of be ready to go in the morning straight away. So it's our moving day, and we're all packed up and waiting Nearly. for the movers. No, we are packed up. Kuba has been saying that we're not packed up forever, but he has not been doing anything. Yeah. He's just been saying that it's not packed up, it looks messy. I think it's done, like honestly, it's not like we need to take a plane and move somewhere. They're literally just putting it in a car and moving it. So, car, van, it's on wheels. It's the same thing for me. He's being so annoying today and yesterday. I don't know, he's just enjoying annoying me. Yes. I think he's just very stressed out and he needs to relieve his stress on someone. So it's me because Brittany's too cute to do that. The movers have arrived, finally. A bit late, like 30 minutes late, but that's fine. Why is the back open though? Does it close? That worries me a bit. Let's start the move. And also that's how our bedroom now looks empty. And there's Brittany. I think we'll need to lock her up somewhere here for now. Yes, baby, you're going to your new home. Brittany's going to her new home. Right, Brittany? <laughs> so, this is almost it. It's empty. 
that we're gonna take that tomorrow probably when we're gonna come over to paint everything over yeah it's empty they didn't fit everything into the van but it's almost everything the stuff we can take with the car so that's fine we have a car for a week that we rented so much but it's so weird it's empty there's nothing here apart from those which we'll also take tomorrow do do okay oh no <laughs> that was fucking disappointing oh no <laughs> it didn't fall <laughs> well shit cheers, cheers. cheers. Hello, so we're all moved in. It was super hard to film anything. Then we got stuck in traffic and by the time me and Boja arrived here, they were all unpacked because Kubo was here so we kind of divided and conquered the task. But now it's 9 p.m. We also get one to B&Q to get some paint samples because we're gonna paint everything. But this is our dining room. Super cool. <laughs> I'm enjoying the suburb life. Uh, already we have a garden which is such a nice feeling we can sit in the garden and have a glass of wine if we want to so exciting I guess we will unpack a bit today but I mean I'm I'm personally very exhausted we just took out the plants and tomorrow we want to repaint the other flat oh I'll show you more probably on Monday when everything's set up and probably not everything's set up but I guess more of it is done We are back today at our old place, the full team, repainting, um, filling in the holes, and yeah, that's our day, I guess. Hopefully we won't screw up, as none of us have any decorating, painting, or filling experience. So, we were back in Shoreditch today just because we had to repaint a couple of things, we had to fix the floor, then we had the cleaners, and it's the end of the day, and we're kind of done. But the thing is, we're cleaning up after the cleaners at the moment, which is very typical, a very Polish thing to do, to clean before the cleaner comes and then clean after the cleaner. Today, we also had um, this guy come in to fix our floor, because I don't know if you can see, there's like a ring that we got from a plant paw and he basically covered it up. It kind of looks all right on the camera, but in reality, you can kind of see it a bit. So I'm hoping it will fade just because it's still fresh. But this is our old place. And Kuba is in the kitchen cleaning up after the cleaner. Yes. Hello, it's Kuba. It's but involved. it's empty. It's my last time here. Oh, bye, Shoreditch. I'm never gonna miss you. Goodbye, flat E. Yeah. That's it. It's the end. Oh, true. <laughs> that was a failure. 